Hey guys, so I want to show you how to do cursor pagination. Now I have my GraphQL server up right here, I have the schema, and here is my query using uh, offset and limit pagination. Now we're going to be doing cursor pagination in this video, and this is what I recommend doing if you want to put do pagination, and it scales much better when you have a lot of data. So instead of doing an offset, we're basically going to keep track of our position of one column. And that's what the cursor is going to be. So I'm going to create a sum suggestions 2. It's going to take a limit, just like above. But our second one is going to be a cursor. Now this cursor, um, you want to make it the type of the data column that you want to um, basically keep as your position. So a cursor is basically your position in a list. So I'm going to keep the position by ID. So I'm going to use an int here. Um, but you may want to do something else. And I'll show you another example at the end of this video of how cursor could be a string or something else. All right, so we have some suggestions too. We have our limit and our cursor. And now let's create the resolver for this. So save that, pop in the resolvers. So where is some suggestions? Some suggestions. Here we go. So now some suggestions. Here's some suggestions too. So here, also good to note in our schema, cursor can be null. And that's okay. So we're going to have a little bit more logic in our resolver. So I'm going to just make this a curly brace function. And what we're going to do is this. this. This is basically the simplified version, but we need to take care of the null case. So we want to do models.suggestion.findall. Um, we're going to do limit by, and let's grab the limit and the off, not offset uh, cursor from our arguments. And limit here is going to be the limit. Um, and we're going to have a where clause. And our where clause here oops, is we're going to say the ID of suggestions is greater than, let me actually don't, our cursor. All right, put some commas here, put a semicolon. Um, well, let's see why we're getting errors. There we go. Okay, so our sum suggestion is two here. This is basically how it's going to work. We're going to do a limit, um, same as we did above. So we're only getting part of what we want um, and slowly incrementing that. And then our where, this is the important one, right? <laughs> what we're saying is we're basically, and we also want to uh, order the list by ID. That way we're getting an ordered list of um, all the suggestions and we're saying we want to get the ID where the ID is greater than cursor. So what we're going to do is after we get our first results, we're going to look at the end of the results and pass that ID to this function. Um, now our cursor, I guess, so to handle the null case, we basically want to set this to zero. So what we could say is cursor or zero. Actually, we should say negative one because I, I think an ID, not sure if an ID can be zero or not, but it's safer to put negative one here. And actually, we don't have to do a curl. I was going to say do a curly brace function. But we don't even need that. This is simple enough. But this will make more sense when we uh, run this over here. So we're going to make a query here. And we're going to say some suggestions too. Now, it doesn't have it. We need to restart. Oh. Looks like we might have an error in our server. Nope, I just heard, forgot to start it up. Okay, so we're gonna refresh and go to graphical to try this guy out. And we're gonna go to some suggestions too. Now limit, I'm gonna say, first before we even do this, let's show you guys all the suggestions. Um, so notice what the IDs are, one, two, 62. So our basic logic is 
let's say we only want to get, we're limiting to 10. Um, our first time, we're going to grab these suggestions. Then in our second query, we're going to pass a cursor of 10. And it's going to say, grab all the ones with IDs greater than 10. So then we're going to grab these 10. And then we're going to say, hey, we got the last one is 20. We want to grab the next 10. So we pass it as our cursor 20. So that's the basic logic we're going to use. Um, so let's show that in action real quick. So some suggestion is 2. Our limit is going to be 10. And our cur we're not going to have a cursor for the first. Um, order must be a type of array or instance of a valid to equalize method. Oh, it looks like it doesn't like the way we did order. We might have to do it like this. Uh, ascending. Let's see if it likes that better. Um, does not exist. Suggestion dot ascending. Okay, let's go to SQLize query and see the correct way to order things. I thought it was just setting the order like that, but I guess it's different. Um, see, this is what I just did. I guess you have to pass in an array. That's fine. All right, an array, and we're just ordering by ID. See if it likes that better. And it does, cool. So we get the first 10 here. Now we get text, and now on our cursor. So let's let's show you guys with the text too. So we get A B C D E F G H. Hello, hello. And now if I set the cursor, now in our code, what we're gonna do uh, for a list is we're gonna find what the last element is and then pass that as our cursor. So now I want ten. So this should give me the next ten. Hello, hello, hello. and I can do twenty. It'll give me the next twenty, and then so on. I can make this thirty. And you just go through the list like that, and that's how you pad, you know, go through it. Um, so now I want to show you guys how you would add this in React Native. So our server is good to go here. Um, here's the code for React Native. Our uh, the previous one we were using limit and offset. So now instead of offset, we're going to have a cursor. Um, cursor is going to start at zero. And in our index here, we're going to set a limit of 15. That seems like a good size, but we're not going to pass in a cursor. Um, and then the only thing that's going to change here is, so we're not having an offset. We're going to have a cursor. And what the cursor is going to equal is when we handle end, we want to look at what the very last element in the list is. So this dot props dot data dot sum suggestions two and then grab the last item and then dot id now to get the last item in the list python you can put negative one i wish you could in javascript i don't think you can so what i'm going to do is say const sum suggestions two is equal to this dot props dot data and then we'll do sum suggestions to dot length minus oops dot length minus one. That'll get us the last element in the list. And now we also need to change our get suggestions query here. So now it's going to be get suggestions two. And here we're only going to have we're going to have a cursor. And a limit, and we're gonna call some suggestions to, and this is gonna be oops, this is gonna be cursor. So just changed our query to now be some suggestions to, and now we're using cursor instead of an offset. Uh, pass it to our app. I already converted this guy right here to using some suggestions to, so we're changing the cursor to the last ID in the list, and then this will be some suggestions to here for getting the data. Um, Nothing should change here. And uh, one thing I had forgotten in the previous video is we actually need to await this fetch more. Uh, that's important. Well, I mean, it's not that important, but our load will look a little funky. The functionality worked from before, though. 
and then we'll set the cursor to this dot save dot cursor and then our update query is going to be the exact same and yeah we're done actually so the things we need to, we changed were we're now using cursor instead of offset the way we update our cursor is by getting the last element in the list and getting its ID um, so we know what the next one to look at is and now we're just doing the same thing so let's see if we made any errors we can come over here refresh Requ uh, array dot from requires an array like object not null or undefined array dot from I have no idea what that is uh, I'm going to go ahead and close, not close, I'm going to minimize. We'll put this guy over here. This is the code for the server. We're done with that for now. And let's do some debugging of what's going wrong. So, this thought fetch, I think the fetch more is not even getting called yet. Because this is an initial fetch. I think get suggestions too might not be working. This query might be broken because notice how it doesn't even load. Oh, straight up undefined. Okay, that's weird. Let's refresh again. Okay, sometimes it crashes, sometimes it doesn't. I think I think what's happening is handle end is being called um, because we're getting to the end of the list. Um, before this is done loading. So what I'm going to do is say handle list and we're going to say some suggestions and loading and then we're only going to set the state if we're not loading. That way we don't just like crap out at the beginning like this. But you notice if it loaded fast enough, it works. Okay, we're still getting this weird error. But if I refresh, sometimes it works. Now let's just scroll through this. Same thing. I wonder what it is causing. I think maybe this is giving us there. Some suggest maybe our update query is. I don't think anything else would. Well, okay, it even tells us right here that our update query is what's causing it. Line 25. So, oh, there should be some suggestions too. My bad. So those, that should be changed. Now let's see if we have that problem. And this needs to be some suggestions too. We just need to match up the name with the uh, field. All right, so now we can scroll. The Latin list encountered two children with the same key. Children keys must be. Okay, so we somehow, so okay, we're getting this warning. Uh, encountered two children with the same key, 16. And we're using the ID for the key. That means we're, something's broken because we should never load the same item but we are so to what we're gonna do to watch and make sure I think this not loading thing this is good what I think I'll do is we basically want to see every time we're fetching more I guess so I'm gonna do a console.log and do this dot state dot cursor console.log fetching and I'm just going to open up a console right here that way it's easy to see and let's go into our react native application now I'm going to do react native blog iOS so now we can see how many calls we're making to a uh, GraphQL server. Sorry, we haven't fetched more yet. We're hitting the bottom of the list. We're fetching more. Um, let's scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. 
before all these errors pop up. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay, before, before, oh, okay. Log message quota exceeded. Some messages have been discarded. Looks like there is so many fetching. Okay, so look, we're fetching 15, fetching 15. I think what's happening is we're getting to the end of the list too fast. Or like this function is being called twice. I think handle end is getting called twice. So what's happening is we are fetching data on the same cursor. So we're doing 15, then we're doing 15. But this not loading thing should help. Unless loading is always false. It might be is loading. I'm going to console.log this.props.data too. And to help with the, the log, instead of doing the ID, I'm going to do the index. That way we shouldn't get an error. We can just see what the uh, fetches we are calling are. All right, so scroll down to the bottom here. We can make this smaller since there should be so much data. Okay, so here is our first one. So loading is true, and we tried to fetch more. So not loading is good. This is correct. So now I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And we didn't even console log anything. There we go. Okay, I don't want to fetch. I don't want to. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get rid of the console log. We got rid of the console log there. Now I'm only going to see when we fetch data. Okay. So now scrolling down. 15, fetching 15. Okay, so this is our problem. Fetching 15, fetching 15. We don't want that. So we just fetched basically twice. And I don't know why we're doing that. We hit the bottom of the list, and then we're calling handle end twice. What we can do is in our state say um, fetching data for and then specify the ID. Actually no, we already know what it is, the cursor. So we're gonna we're gonna check right here. We're gonna say if this dot state dot cursor is equal to uh, some suggestions some suggestions dot link minus one dot id and we want to check is not loading and is not equal okay so those are the two conditions I want for what I'm fetching. Now the second condition, I'm checking if the cursor is not equal to the end of the list. So you notice what I didn't want was to fetch 15 when I just fetched 15. So 15 is what the cursor location's at. So when I fetched 15, I set the cursor to 15. And then when I'm fetching here, we would have seen, hey, we're still at 15, don't do it again. So we're saying if it's not equal to. So now let's refresh and see if we get the same problem. So we come back to the bottom, we get fetching 30. Now let's see if we get fetching 45. We don't get fetching 45. We're getting fetching 60. I think it just did not print it, but I think this is working now. Yeah, looks like we got, we don't see any fetching duplicates. And to make sure for sure, what we can do is use the ID here. Oops. And now we're going to refresh. I'm going to go ahead and restart the log so we don't have any errors uh, or any messages missing. All right, so scrolling to the bottom, we get fetching 30, fetching 45, and then should be fetching 60. 
All right, so that is the fetching. That's our cursor. So that is how you do cursors right there. Um, we had a little problem, as you guys saw, with duplicate fetching, but that's kind of something wrong with our client side code. But how we implemented cursors in the back end was good to go. Um, I highly recommend doing it like this, um, where you're using the ID or some other column um, and using the last thing you fetched. Now I want to do one last example, and that is with uh, a basically a search. So sometimes your cursor is not going to be an int. So search suggestions. So here I'm going to set do a limit. I'm also going to have a query right for searching. So I'm going to have a string, and that's mandatory. And now our cursor is going to be a string too. And what the cursor is going to be is um, I'm actually going to order it by the text. Um, I actually could order it by ID still, and that would work now that I think of it. But if you wanted to order it by something else besides um, the, the ID, you could. But it's good to note that you want to order it by the something you have an index for in your database, which the ID does. And you know what? So I'm going to show you how you can do search suggestions with the cursor being the index still. All right, so this is going to be a query. We have the cursor here. We got a resolver. So some suggestions. Now we're going to do search. So search suggestions. I think it was a yep, put an S at the end. So here we're going to have a query, a limit, and a cursor. So we're going to actually keep the exact same thing here. We're actually just going to add where text, I think it's uh, what contains. Well, let's, let's go, we have the SQLized query documentation up right here. Um, the basics. Here are all the operations we can do. We want to do I like, which is case insensitive. Come back over here. I like query. And what we'll do is we'll actually put percent signs around this. That way we can find stuff. All right. And that's it. <laughs> uh, it's already paginated and everything. It's set up good. Um, yeah, I'll show. I can show you guys the how I do it. I would add this in React Native too. We can do that real quick. What I think I'm going to do is create a branch. So, do I have? Oh, I have this up. We don't need this anymore. Come back over here. Oops. All right. So I'm gonna create a branch. Git branch for this video. So five cursor uh, pagination, and I'm going to check out this branch to create it, and I'll do git status. I'm going to go ahead and commit everything, git commit, and we'll say add cursor base pagination. Okay, now I'm going to get check out and we'll do another branch real quick we'll do five underscore part two um we'll call this 5.1 why not 5.1 instead and here we're going to do search pagination all right so now in this branch we can go ahead and change our React Native code. Because I want to keep, this is a good code for the other one. So now let's do this with search. So this is going to be search suggestion. And this will be suggestions. So delete that, grab that. So this is the name of our query. Limit cursor is going to say the same cursor like that. We're going to have one more variable, which is going to be the query. 
Um, and it's going to be a string. So query is just going to be query. And this will be a dollar sign here. And get the ID. And this will be some suggestions. We want search suggestions. All right. So search suggestions, we got our, this is going to be a GraphQL query for it. Um, our index here, we'll go ahead and pass in a limit and a query. Uh, the query, I'm going to get all the suggestions that have an E in them. Um, and then come back up here. So every place we see the word some suggestions to, we can pretty much replace it with uh, search suggestions. And actually, I think we're just done. Because actually, we didn't really change the query up too much, right? Um, it's This is actually the exact same code. The only thing we're changing is we're passing an initial query, which is in our index, which we pass in. But if you wanted to, with fetch more, you could change what the query variable is. But uh, I think we're actually good. Let's just refresh and see what happens. A quick search and replace might be all we need. Nope. Um, I do have the server up and running, right? Yes, I do. So search suggestions. That's good. Let's see what the error is, I guess. Uh, unhandled and React Apollo. I have a feeling our actual GraphQL might be wrong. Let's check that out. I'm going to go ahead and close this window because we're done making server changes. So we don't have so many windows open. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into graphical and see if we get any errors. Oops. Oh, I did not copy this to my clipboard. And prettify. Well, looks good. Um, it looks like some suggestions was not changed everywhere. So, and the reason for that is I forgot to put the G. So I'm using a Vim plugin that lets me change these, uh, that lets me do Vim commands. And I was doing a Vim search and replace. When I search and replace, they did not do it well. But if you want to search and replace here, you can as well. But I just searched and replaced search suggestions. Um, I put that in for some suggestions too. Now we can refresh. Still no. Same error? Yeah, same error. All right. I mean, let's make sure I don't have any some suggestions. Nope. Um... We got search suggestions. This looks like something I might have messed up here. Oh yeah, first off, we should not be doing it like that. We should just pass it like that. But I don't think that was what the problem was. It's almost like it, we're almost having a problem with the server. Because we're getting an unhandled bundle thing. I don't know what that is. We're getting undefined on the server. I think maybe if we come over here and do a react native log iOS then possibly it'll tell us what's in more detail what the heck is going on because like this error is not very helpful running I don't see anything here that would be informative Nothing is get. Look how the log doesn't even change. We get initializing, and that's it. View props. Log quote exceeded. Some messages may have been discarded. All right. Reopen this. Hopefully now this one won't get discarded. Loading item bundle. I actually have no idea what happened. We basically just changed it to using some or the search suggestions query, and now everything's broken. 
I have a feeling it's like some small syntax error. Um, we're using cursor still. Query we're not using. Our cursor should be updating in the same way. Uh, quick. Yeah. Nothing. I'm just doing a quick scan of the code, and there's nothing here that would think that would break something. I mean, there's one, so the only thing I know I usually do is when this happens is I'll go ahead and trim some stuff out. So this is not very helpful. We'll just minimize you. All right, got rid of the flat list. The flat list is not causing it. Meaning it has to be this query. For whatever reason, this query is not, is, is causing a problem. You guys might see it before I do of what I'm doing wrong and might be able to easily fix this. But I actually have no idea what's going on. Here's just like a quick line by line of what's different. Yeah, I think I just have the GraphQL messed up. All right, I can't show you guys this then. I think I'm just gonna call quits here. I'm not sure what the exact problem is. I think I have this query messed up. Search suggestions is messed up in some fashion. I don't think it's because I'm using the same name here and here. I mean, the query looked good when I pe pasted it here, right? Like if I, actually, you know what? I never tried doing it here. Let's just run it real quick here and make sure it does work. Let's do a query e limit 10. We don't need a cursor for the first one. Well, there you go. That's our problem. Uh, field search suggestions argument cursor of type in is required but not provided. All right, let's go to our schema real quick. I actually closed that. So, code. I thought we were done with the server. So that was just me being dumb. Forgot to get rid of that. Okay. Even though I didn't put it here, I added it there. Start the server back up, and now everything will work. Funny how we didn't get a good error from React Native, though. It just gave us that super cryptic thing. Good thing I tried this. All right, now that's working, and I guarantee React Native works now. Damn. Notice how we filtered everything. It now just has E's in it. Okay, some suggestions. Uh, let's get rid of that. But notice how we are filtering it just by uh, the E ones now. So some suggestions. Okay, I still have it in two places somehow. Search suggestions. search suggestions reload and now we see e hello and we should see bye at the end cool all right that's how you would do it with a search and that's it guys um thanks for watching i hope that helped and how to do cursors i apologize for how much error debugging there was ended up being in this um just me being silly sorry but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.